an interesting thing too that this image the great silence at the beginning has been I, I noticed this the other thing about the thing about awakening does itself or discovery does itself is that whatever images are at work in us do start to attract other images they start to a word that that um, Tess uses a lot that I really like is constellate. We start to constellate other things. And so put it literally, if, it, if the image is my son, and the gravity of the image starts pulling other images and experiences and memories and dreams and sensations and all these things together to make these incredible galaxies. One of the ways I love it most is it starts pulling in other koans, maybe that I haven't thought about in years. And so that one started to come to me and you can try it right now. We'll do a test drive. Ready? Quickly, before thinking good or evil, what is your original face before your parents were born? Okay. Quickly, before thinking good or evil. <laughs> That's great. And then, uh, so there it is. And you look out the window and it's just there before your parents were born before your grandparents were born, before your, anything was born, really the whole universe is already there. It's incredible, you know? just follows me around. And um, this is an amazing place to be. And I notice it lowers the, it lowers the threshold for joy. And um, like a squirrel just climbed down this apple tree and it's like, <laughs> I've got to start talking about the squirrel immediately because of how that made me feel. Um, but it's there and you see it in the leaves and you see it in people's faces and you see it in everything. You see it in a car accident. You see it like I mean, wherever the thing was that you thought the great silence couldn't touch or wherever you thought it wasn't present or wherever the thing is you thought you needed to get rid of or improve or get, it's there already.